Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on using numbers in real life. If children are asked simple questions, it will help them to understand how our number system is so important in many areas of real life. Example 1. How many cups are on the table? So they will look at that and they will do their counting and they will soon realize that on the table we have three cups. So there's a perfect real world example of how we use our number system. Example two, yesterday I owned the number of chooks to the right. So if we count these chooks we have one, two, three, four. If mum bought me one more chook how many chooks will I own now? So if they can't do it straight away just by looking at those chooks, they can just do counting. One, two, three, four, five. So the next one will be five. Example three. Tom has six apples. If Ted has one less apple than Tom, how many apples does Ted have? Well, you can just look at the picture and if you just cross off one of them and then you say, well, how many are left? And that's how many Ted has. So, for example, we've crossed one off so we can see straight away that Ted has five apples. What number comes before 8? Now you can do this two ways. You will either know it or you can just start counting to see which number comes before 8. Now whichever way you do it, you will see that the number 7 comes before 8. What number comes after 10? In a similar manner, you can count from 1 to 10 and keep going or you'll know straight away without counting and you will be able to work out that the number 11 comes after 10. If I am 7 years old now, how old will I be in 2 years from now? So it's not next year, it's 2 years. Again, you could just take the 7 and add 2 to it. You could count from 1 to 7 and then count 2 more, whichever way you do it. I'm sure you'll come to the answer that in two years' time, you'll be nine years old. More exercises. The following are examples of questions that could be asked in relation to the numbers on the above cards. So here we have five cards and just assume they're placed on a table. Number one. Place the above cards in order on a table from lowest to highest. Now you're very familiar with your counting numbers and if you start from 1 you'll see that 1 is not there but the next lowest is 2, the one after that will be 3, the next one will be 4, the next one will be 5 and the highest one will be 6. So if you were to place the cards in order that would be the answer. What is the lowest number? Obviously the lowest number is 2. That's very easy to see. What is the sum of all the numbers? Sum means you add them up. So 2 plus 3 gives you 5. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. 9 plus 5 gives you 14. And 14 plus 6 gives you 20. So when you add the numbers up, you get 20. Now this is an interesting question, so you have to think about it carefully. Another card is added to the group. So this is the original group here. There it is there. And we add one more card to the group. Now we don't know what it's going to be, so let's have a look what the question asks. If it is three more than the largest number which is already on the table, what is the new number? It says it is three more than the largest. 
the largest is 6 you can go 6 plus 3 to get the answer because it's 3 larger than this one so in other words the new card okay will be 9 so the new card will have 9 on it what is the sum of the three smallest numbers now we've already seen that the three smallest are 2 3 and 4 2 plus 3 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 so they're just some good little examples of how numbers are used in everyday life and some of the questions we can ask zero now this is a very very important number in our number system and we really need to understand that let's have a look at some examples where zero is very very important students must understand that zero and there it is there that's how you write it you write it like that as zero is a very important part of our number system the following are just a few examples where zero is used now look at this nice question here look at the above pieces of fruit how many bananas are there in the picture you look very carefully at those pieces of fruit there and guess what you will answer there are no bananas in other words zero is the answer because there are no bananas zero is the answer what number comes after 10 sorry after 9 what number comes after 9 my apologies well you can do your counting or you can just add 1 to this number and look how 0 is important we need 0 to write down this number the number that comes after 9 is 10 and we need 0 to write it down even with this one here what number comes after 99 if you were to count from 1 to 99 your next number would be 100 in other words you need two zeros to write the number 100 so you can see how zero is very very important look at this interesting little question mum packed 15 grapes as part of my lunch if I ate all of them how many do I have left so if you ate the whole 15 and you were asked to count how many you had left you would have zero left wouldn't you you'd have absolutely none left so there are just a few examples of how numbers are used in everyday life and we've also shown the importance of zero